So hi everyone, this is the second lesson uh, of the 2023 pack onwards. Um, this is like an extra lesson added in to practice these, to practice convexivity and compactity. So part one says, we've got the equation, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared all squared. I want to find d2y by dx squared. So I'm going to put it in index notation. I could use the quotient rule if I wanted to. But I'm just going to use the chain rule because it's quicker. So differentiate inside the brackets of 2x. Bring down the power. Multiply by the bracket and drawn up the power. So if I tidy that up. That's what I get. Now I want to differentiate it again to get d2y by dx squared. So if I differentiate it again, I'm going to use the product rule. So that's the first bit multiplied by the second bit differentiated. So I've got to use a chain rule. So that's the second bit differentiated. So differentiate inside the bracket, bring the power down, take the power. And then I've got second bit multiplied by the first bit differentiated. Yeah. Okay. So then that should give me, if I tidy up a little bit, so I've got minus 4x times a 2x times a 3, so that's 24x squared. Power minus 4, and then minus 4 lots of 1 plus x squared all to the power of minus 3. Right then, so if you imagine the first term is 24x squared all divided by 1 plus x squared to the power 4. The second term is minus 4 over 1 plus x squared all cubed. If I made the common denominator, so d2y by dx squared. So if you imagine, if I go as 24x squared all over 1 plus x squared to the 4, minus 4 over 1 plus x squared to the power 3, I can make this have a common denominator of 1 plus x squared to the 4 just by multiplying this by 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared. Slightly different time pack, does it? So the first term is fine because it's all over 1 plus x squared to the 4. So that's a 24x squared. But the second term is a 1 plus x squared out, so it's minus 4 lots of 1 plus x squared. So then if I expand my brackets, So I've got a 24x squared minus 4 times x squared. So that's going to be 20x squared. And I've got minus 4. All over 1 plus x squared to the power 4. So that's my d2y by dx squared. So that's fine. That's good. Part 2 says, oh, I'll way back up here. Show with detailed reasoning, find a set of values. Right, so it's concave. So we know for concave, the d2y by dx squared is less than or equal to zero. Just put the equals in if you don't like it. So I'm saying that my equation, my 20x squared minus 4 over 1 plus x squared to the 4 is less than or equal to zero. If I multiply 3 by the bit on the bottom, I just end up with a 20x squared minus 4 is less than or equal to zero. Now I want to solve that, but I guess it's worth thinking about my 1 plus x squared because I've just kind of I've multiplied through by something. I've kind of took it up there, but I've not actually thought if that was negative, it would flip the inequality. But if you think, whatever x is, if you square it, it's going to be positive. So 1 plus x squared will always be positive. 
So then 1 plus x squared raised to the power 4 will always be positive. So it won't actually do anything to the inequality. So we've just kind of done like a little extra, extra bit here. So we're just going to say that the 1 plus x squared to the power 4 is greater than 0. It just means it doesn't flip inequality. Right, so now then, if I just do this like a quadratic inequality, and I put in poly, 20, 0, minus 4, I get out two values. I get a minus root 5 over 5 and a root 5 over 5. So I'm going to do it like a proper quadratic inequality. So I'm going to just do a little picture to capture it. So there's my root 5 over 5, and there's my minus root 5 over 5. And I'm looking where it's below the x-axis. So it's below the x-axis between those values there. So we're going to say it's concave when x belongs to the reals such that minus root 5 over 5 is less than or equal to x, even though really it should be less than. And then I've got a less than or equal on my side. There we go. So there's a little bit extra in red there, but we know we do, but that's fine. I think that's everything on that question, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so there's another question. There's another question. It's not working. There you go. I'll do that in a separate video, okay? Bye-bye.